Creative Solutions. Today I will be doing a program on Armstrong number. Okay, so I'll just right click here and go create a class. The class name let it be arms um, arm um, um, st. Okay, we'll be taking a user input. Okay, okay, let's import import java dot util dot star hash. If you do not know what I have typed here, please do watch my earlier video. The link for the scanner class I am using so that I can take user input. You can watch the earlier video link which will pop up now itself. Now let's scan. System dot in. This will basically help you to take user input. Now let's do equals to sc dot next in. Okay, I'm typing too fast. Let's slow it down so that I'm able to make you understand. Okay. Uh, first of all, let's do the next thing we can do here is uh, we'll start. The, we'll make a copy of this number so that we can check on the device that we'll print both the numbers because we'll manipulate this number here itself. Now, in sum is equals to zero. I'll tell you where why I'm doing this. We'll be using while loop here, while n1. This program here is checking Armstrong number for only three digits. I remind you, the program here is checking Armstrong number for three digits. If you want to increase the number of digits, you will have to find the order of the number, which is the number of digits. Then you will have to calculate the loop itself. In mod, this is just to calculate the remainder of the number. We'll be using N1. We'll be using mod 10 because uh, we are using it for three digit number. Now sum is equals to what is basically an Armstrong number. Armstrong number you can basically see 153 where 1 into 1 into 1 plus 5 into 5 into 5 into 5 plus 3 into 3 into 3 is also equals to 153. So this is an Armstrong number in which the cube of each square, each cube of each digit is equal to the number itself. We'll be checking, okay, we'll just put this here on hold. Uh, some few more examples are, I'll just put there, 407, I think so, 370, 371, okay, 370. We'll check out these numbers, okay. Here's some, I'll do basically mod into mod into mod plus sum because we'll be adding those earlier digits also now let's moving on we'll move on to will get back the original number so we will do this now i'll check outside and see whether we have got the number here itself let's put this in comment if sum is equals to equals to n this our Okay. Okay, just a man, just with a snag, technical snag. Okay. Um strong number. Okay. Else this is out. Not Armstrong, not an Armstrong number. Pardon my spelling. Should I have just got a new keypad? But my habits too high and I'm typing as fast as possible. Okay. Enter the number so that user knows when to enter. Okay, this is it. We'll close the scanner class here. Say dot close. You might think why I have not used a parenthesis here because we are using only one statement. So parenthesis is not necessary. Okay, we'll run the program. Okay, so I'll come here, click on run, enter the number. First we'll try with uh, not an Armstrong number, we'll try 120. So it's not an Armstrong number because one cube equals to one, two cube is equals to eight, one plus eight, nine. That definitely is not equals to 120. Okay, we'll try with 153 now, 153, Armstrong number, 
We'll try a few more examples here. 371. It's an Armstrong number. Okay, let's do one more thing. 407. It's an Armstrong number. Don't worry, I'll check some. 410, let's do. Not an Armstrong number. See, this is it. Uh, here in the program, we are able to check whether a three digit number is an Armstrong number or not. Thank you for watching the video. Please do like, comment, share, subscribe if you have any doubt. And watch my channel for complete Java basic tutorial. Thank you. Have a nice day.